Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2022. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the CC page turn effect, which is pretty cool. The CC page turn effect is just what it sounds like. It will give you that effect of turning the page of a book or maybe peeling the sticker off a piece of paper. You can also use it as a transition. You see here I have a photo, and if I use the page turn effect, I can flip it over and then reveal something new underneath. To apply the CC page turn effect, select the layer that you want to apply the effect to. Go up to the Effects and Presets panel. If you don't see that, you can go up to Window and check Effects and Presets. In the search field, you can start typing in page, P-A-G-E, and click on the effect and just drag it right onto that layer. Then you're gonna to go to the effect controls to customize the effect. So what you're looking for is this little anchor point. If you just click on that and drag it, now you've got full control over the page effect. You can just move it in any direction. And a bonus tip, if you ever lose the anchor point that you use to control the fold, all you have to do is just simply click on CC page turn in the effect controls. So just click right on the title and then you will see that anchor point appear again. Whatever you see visible before you do the page turn effect is the front page. And whatever you have selected in this drop down menu is considered the back page or what you see after you do the page turn effect. When I drag the anchor point, you see the front page and the back page are the same logo. If I change the back page now to none and drag the anchor point, so here's the front page. Now when I drag it, the back page is this solid color. And that color is controlled by the paper color. So if I click on this little eyedropper tool, I can change the color to anything I want. So now I've got the front as my logo. And when I drag the page turn, I have this color. I can also control the opacity. If I wanna see more of the background, I can lower the opacity. I can even change the back page to a completely different logo. I'm gonna click on the drop down for back page. I'm gonna change it to another logo. And now when I click on the anchor point and use the page turn, you see I've got this M logo and the back page is now another logo. Pretty cool. And now let's animate it. I'm gonna drag the playhead to the beginning. I'm gonna click on the stopwatch next to fold position. That's where I wanna start the animation. I'm gonna drag the playhead out, let's say to this one second mark. I'm gonna click on the anchor point. I'm gonna drag it to where I want it. I'm gonna reveal it right here. I'm just gonna stop. That'll automatically add a second keyframe. If I drag the playhead back, I can hit the space bar. And now I've got myself a page turn animation. And that is how to use the CC page turn effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2022. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.